Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you guys how to make pork sadiko. Basically, it's fried pork mixed with different spices and crunchy vegetables. Uh, so let's get started with the ingredients. Uh, you will need pork meat. If you don't eat pork, you can use chicken and make it chicken sadiko. Uh, thinly sliced white cabbage, carrot, cucumber, onion I'm using red onion but you can use white one as well chopped coriander leaf green chilies green onion tomatoes salt to taste turmeric powder red chili powder lemon juice fenugreek seeds and vegetable oil in a pan add about 2 tablespoons of oil, once the oil is hot add your meat and fry them until they are golden in color and crispy on the both sides. Uh, make sure you flip your meat a few times in between. Once your meat is done take them out and put them on the paper towel for 5 minutes so that the paper towel can soak all the excess oil. After 5 minutes, cut your meat into small pieces and put them into the mixing bowl. Then add all the ingredients in the mixing bowl except uh, fenugreek seeds, uh, green chilies and uh, turmeric powder. While adding your vegetable, there isn't any exact amount you should be adding. You can add as much as you want. Sometimes I like to add more vegetable than meat so that it can be a little bit more healthier. After adding all the ingredients into the mixing bowl, leave the mixing bowl aside for a few minutes and take a small pan and add about 2 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil is hot, add your fenugreek seeds, our green chilies and turmeric powder and add this oil mixer on top of the vegetable in the mixing bowl and start mixing them. Uh, once you finish mixing it, uh, your pork sandiko is ready to be served. Uh, if you just need to add just salt, chili powder or lemon juice, you can do that. Other than that, your uh, pork sandiko is ready. Uh, but just make sure you mix them right before you serve it. Otherwise, the meat can get soggy and it does not taste as good. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please press the thumbs up button and remember to subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!